All right, guys, we have a uh, 2017 Honda Civic that has an AC not cooling uh, problem. And I'm going to show you how to do a, uh, uh, a Honda um, self-diagnostic test using the MS-906. And use, it, it also uses the car's built-in software to help diagnose potential problems. Um, so this would be something that, you know, you'd want to do if, uh, you know, on these newer cars, they've got sensors and they got temp sensors, pressure sensors, and and all that that you've got to take into account uh, whenever you're having an AC issue. So you d generally want to do the climate test. Um, and where this is at, let me go back a page or two. Oh, we're getting ready to get some rain. So I'm going to hit control unit, and I'm going to go to body electrical is where this is at. The key is on. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the climate button here on the display. Oh, I'm going to show you how to do this same test without the tool also. Um, Honda was nice enough to build the uh, function into the car where you don't even have to have the tool, the scan tool. So I'm going to go ahead and hit HVAC climate control. Uh, we're going to hit active test. Climate controlled unit self test. I'm going to just hit that. Okay, now I'm going to hit OK. And what's going to happen is here in a minute you're going to have the blower kick on different speeds. Uh, it's going to blow out of the vents. Uh, all the different vents, the defrost, the front vents, the floor vents. Now you'll see some changes here. It's, it's moving all the doors and everything through its, uh, through its full paces. And then whenever it's done, it comes up with this screen that actually shows you a report of what it found. So you've got, first thing you want to see uh, is the number of errors in uh, zero. Now, in this case, I wish it would show something that was wrong with this system. Right now, the compressor does come on. Um, everything seems fine. The blower motor works, but, but it just doesn't blow cold air at all. So anyway, you can see all your temperatures. Ambient temperature sensor. Contents open, status normal. You know, so you can read down through here and you can look at all your stuff and see if it's normal or if it's not normal. Now, there's, uh, there can also be other pages. So here's uh, in-car temp sensor, in-car temp sensor, open, sh uh, short, normal, normal. It went through all these tests. You can go to the next page and you, you can keep reading, uh, you know, what kind of uh, problems that it possibly could have found. And you just go through each and every one of these. You know, there's compressor solenoid. Open, normal, compressor solenoid, when it was uh, shorted, normal. The motor, the blower motor, you know, all that. Um, you know, lost communication, normal. I mean, it, it does a pretty thorough test of the system that may give you a clue as to what kind of problem you have. So, anyway, with that said, let me, first of all, let me get these lights off. So there's no glare. Okay, so let me get out of this. And the way you exit out of this is just turn the turn the ignition off. Then we'll turn it back on so we can do this. We're going to do this without the uh, uh, without the without the tool down here. Oh, the scan tool also comes and it says the auto climate control unit is functioning normally. Now, if there would have been any faults up here, the scan tool would have also uh, got it. Okay, so I'm going to turn the car to the on position. Now, the on position is when you've got all your instrument lit up. That's without your foot on the brake. You hit the button a couple times and you should get your, basically, you've just turned your ignition to the on position. Now, at this point... If I can get my camera stand up here. Okay, with the system on, I'm going to push and hold the on-off button. And then within 10 seconds, I'm going to push the rear defrost 
mirror or heated mirror button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to release this button, and that's going to initiate the uh, diagnostic self check. And it's going to go through the same test that it did with the scan tool. I can hear the blower coming on. You can see the, the different transitions down here. And then we're going to get our screen to come up here. That will show us if it found any problems. Of course, no, number of errors are zero. And, you know, here you've got your... Uh, so what you've got here, you've got like ambient temp sensor. It opened the circuit. It saw that it was normal. The, the ambient temp sensor, it shorted that circuit. Everything was normal. S same with all these sensors right here. It did the same thing. It opened and it shorted them. And, uh, and everything was normal. Now, solar radiation sensor variation it says unknown, but it does show the status was normal. Uh, solar radiation sensor, it says fail, but it says normal. So I'm assuming that's good whenever it shows normal. It, I'm assuming that it put it in a failed state and whatever whatever it wanted to see, it saw that it was it was good and normal. And over here you got in-car temp sensor, it open, normal, in-car temp sensor, it shorted, it's normal. And you can go to your different pages. Um, all your your mode uh, motor here's your uh, drivers it looks like mode motor which is your flapper door open short lock all normal uh we'll go to page c compressor solenoid open normal compressor solenoid shorted normal here's your uh your other motors blower motor lock normal uh I'm not sure if this rf motor i don't know if that's the blower motor open short lock not sure what the RA, the uh, right front, I guess. I don't know. And then page D, same, you know, similar stuff. You can go down through all this and, uh, you know, it shows that everything's normal. Anyway, uh, now if you had an error up here, it, it'll tell you that. It'll tell you what the, uh, what kind of fault you've got, which obviously is going to help you troubleshoot your your system in this case everything appears normal this car is probably low on refrigerant and it takes the uh the r1234 yf so we're going to have to get some gauges hooked up and take a look at that anyway i just wanted to give you a quick rundown of this uh honda uh, self test that you can do on the AC system. Anyway, this is a 2017 Honda Civic. Um, two liter engine, push button start, auto, uh, climate control. Anyway, you guys take care.